Aquarius Rising's February 2024, the spotlight is on you. It's about you making a name for yourself or getting attention for your identity, as well as getting particularly serious and responsible with your money. If you're excited to get into what exactly we have in store for this February for your sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I am a Western astrologer using the Tropical Zodiac, and I also make music, so you can check that out down below, as well as my private readings if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me. So we start out on the 5th with Mercury conjunct Pluto in your first house of self. Mercury and Pluto together shows very intense, obsessive, maybe paranoid, maybe just focused communication. And with it in your first house of you, you are making a very intense statement early on this month. You are saying something that is not necessarily provocative or disruptive, but is just like, whoa, that was deep early on this month about yourself. Then from the 7th to the 8th, Venus will try and Uranus between your 12th and 4th houses. So Venus in your 12th house to start out the month shows that your mental health is doing really well. And the trying to Uranus in your 4th house shows that your family is improving as a result. So because you're doing better, it is randomly helping out family and home living situation stuff. And that is a prominent good thing. Then on the ninth, there is a new moon in your Aquarius first house. This shows a very sudden, impulsive, yet serious new beginning about your identity or who you are in the world. So it could be that you're announcing something that you've been working on that represents you, or that you are deciding to change something about your appearance and start something new with how you look that is kind of sudden, but definitely makes sense. Then on the 13th to the 17th, Venus and Mars will conjoin Pluto in your first house. Venus and Mars in your first house is all about you getting what you want and what you wanna manifest, as well as going out there and like kicking ass and putting a ton of effort into the world. Try to focus on you getting and receiving what you want. It is a month about you on a very, very intense obsessive level. Like there's something you're obsessed with getting. Then on the 19th, the sun will enter your second house of Pisces, which is the house of income and money. So there is a focus on making money second half of the month. And on the 20th to the 23rd, Venus and Mars continue to be conjunct in your first house. They will square Jupiter in your fourth house of family from the 24th to the 28th, showing that all the effort and all the things that you are focusing on involving yourself and your identity is actually leading to growth and positivity with your home or living situation as well. Then on the 24th, there is a full moon in your Virgo eighth house. This full moon is about cutting out the bullshit and getting very serious in terms of, for you, your eighth house of investments or shared finances. So you might be selling something that you are tired of. You might also be getting rid of like a financial manager or something to do with money so that you can get more serious and be more mature about your long-term investment related finances. Then on the 27th to the 29th, the sun and Mercury will be conjunct in your second house and they will cross Saturn on the 29th. Sun and Mercury together shows illumination or clarity of information and crossing Saturn shows that this is very serious, cut and dry, cold, unemotional reality. The second house means that you're probably getting news back or having an understanding about your finances that is not good or bad, but it's just cold, hard data that you have to get a reality check about. Let me know how this February is sounding to you. Leave me a comment and tell me what you feel like this is gonna resonate as in your life. The tarot card that we have here for Aquarius Risings this February is... We have the Three of Swords reversed. So I have this card tattooed on me, and when it's upright, it is about being, like, betrayed and trust being broken. When it's reversed, it's showing that you, like, someone is not betraying you. You do not become betrayed. There's no reason to worry. There's no defying or lying to you going on. If you enjoy this, do make sure to give me a like and subscribe. I see that about half of you are subscribed. It would be cool to get that to like 51, 52, you know, a little bit higher. That would be cool. Anyway, hope that your February goes really well, and I will see you next month. Oh,